Hey, it's Thomas here, and today we're gonna to be taking a look at Reef Nutrition's TDO Chroma Boost. Whether you wanna make sure your fish are getting the best diet possible for healthy growth and coloration, or wanna try your hand at breeding and rearing marine fish, and wanna use a food that's been proven by breeders to produce fantastic results getting larval fish from live foods onto prepared foods with the nutrition needed to grow into vibrant and robust adults, then check out Reef Nutrition's TDO Chroma Boost. Yes, this is a feeding program designed to get larval uh, marine fish all the way up to adult size for breeders. However, it is a great option if you're trying your hand at breeding at home for the first time, or even if you just have really tiny pico fish with small mouths that are hard to feed, these granules get super tiny. More and more reefers are now trying their hand at breeding their fish at home, which was once thought to be nearly impossible. One of the most critical factors in the success of reefers raising larval and juvenile fish into adulthood is their diet. Without a solid, nutritionally sound, palatable, and appropriately sized food, rearing the fry of marine fish can be an effort in futility. It's also increasingly more common these days to see very young specimens of marine fish at your local fish store, along with tiny gobies and other species suitable for nano and pico aquariums. And having the right size food packed with not only protein for growth, but fat for energy can make all the difference in your success when bringing these small, more fragile and often harder to feed fish home. Reef Nutrition TDO Chroma Boost brings a high quality, carefully formulated prepared food proven by breeders to be an effective option to provide larval, juvenile, and adult fish alike the nutrition they require to grow into healthy and colorful show-stopping specimens to hobbyists like you and me. It's not only high in protein for growth, but also in the fats fish need for energy and finished with a top dressing of hematococcus algae, rich in astaxanthin, which is a carotenoid, to really encourage those colors in your fish to pop. Reef Nutrition also packages their food in a very durable, resealable foil pouch so that you can keep it fresh. They do recommend you refrigerate the food once it's been opened, but it is still a great option for an automatic feeder. Just put a week's worth in the feeder at a time and refill it every week so that the food is always fresh. A feeder with a good seal is certainly the best option for this, and the Neptune Systems AFS is a good example. Like I mentioned earlier, at its core, TDO Chroma Boost is a feeding system designed to help get those larval and post-metamorphic marine fish off of live foods and onto a nutritionally dense prepared food as soon as possible and provide the nutrition they need at each stage of growth into adulthood to increase survival rates, vitality, and coloration so that you raise the healthiest and best looking fish possible. There is a clear focus on protein, fat, fiber, calcium, and phosphorus with a higher moisture content, but you'll notice that each size of TDO Chroma Boost actually has slightly different percentages that correspond directly to the needs of marine fish at different stages in their development. For example, protein content of the food has a small decrease as the food size gets larger, while the fat content has an increase. You'll also see that the fiber starts out higher at larval stages and has a small decrease as the fish grow. The smallest size offered is TDOA, coming in tiny 75 to 250 micron granules, working up to TDO EP2 with 2.3 millimeter pellets, with five sizes in between to accommodate fish from larval and post-metamorphic stages all the way up to three inches and larger. To give you an example, most reefers will feed a one millimeter to two millimeter pellets to a community tank of reef fish like antheus, gobies, cardinals, clownfish, tangs, hawkfish, and other similarly sized species. So TDO EP1 medium pellets and EP2 large pellets are great options for your tank, even if your fish are past their juvenile stage and need a solid food option to keep them healthy long-term. For those ambitious reefers out there who are looking to try their hand at rearing their very first batch of clownfish fry or maybe dotty backs or cardinals or whatever marine fish you're working with, you can pick up the hobbyist breeder pack that I've got here that includes a one ounce pack of TDO A as well as three ounce packages of TDO B1, B2, C1, C2, EP1, and EP2, which gives you an appropriately sized granule or pellet for every stage of development. You'll certainly want to start your little larval marvels on a live food like rotifers or copepods for the first few days and then slowly switch them over to TDO Chroma Boost. Reef Nutrition has a great example feeding schedule you can follow if this is your first rodeo, but just make sure to research on the species of fish you're breeding so you know what granule size is most appropriate at each stage of that species development. 
Not knowing what size food is most appropriate for a species of fish you're working for is a mistake that can actually catch you off guard. It's not always as simple as it's small enough to fit in its mouth. Ryan has a great example of that with his 360 and the antheas in the tank, tried feeding a whole bunch of different foods that definitely looked like it would be appropriate for those antheas. Turns out they just want to take giant chunks off of much larger food items. So yeah, don't make that mistake or any of the rest of these mistakes in this video right here. Ryan and Randy go over the top feeding mistakes that reefers make. This is a must watch for everyone. It's, a, it, it's really easy actually to make feeding mistakes, whether it's underfeeding, overfeeding, picking the wrong food, all of them have a whole whack load of consequences that you don't want to have to deal with. So check it out.